on Fetty Wash Day, everyone! Um, Fetty Wash Day, but don't be when I keep telling you, put him in now. Wash it, you are need a burger, him at you. Happy, I'm Fetty Kile, me chant day wash day, not bet you. Zappy, hello, everyone! It's wonderful to see you all today. Um, my northern Cheyenne name is Mayo Metna, which means appears in the morning woman. My Lakota name is Northern Lights Woman. Um, my English name is Nina Berglund. I know many of you, I've seen many of your faces around. I'm really glad to have you all out here today for this um, this action, this time to be together, you know, in the heat of the moment, you know, just, I want you guys to, you know, take, a, take the chance to look around and look at everyone, greet everyone, say hello, say hello to your neighbor. Um, I came up here to speak a little bit about why this is so important. I kind of figure that you're out here, <laughs> so you must know a little bit, even if this is your first time ever hearing about Line 3, which I really hope it's not, <laughs> or if this is your millionth action and march that you've come to. But I want you all to know how much it means to me and how much it means to all of the water protectors that have been putting their lives on the line for the past couple months and for the past years that have been putting their lives on the line. You know, whether that's going through the court process, like, like I was a part, and my brother, a part of the Youth Climate Interveners. Um, since first hearing about Line 3 back in 2017, this has, been imp this has impacted every single day of my life. Because I know that I should be out, that I should be speaking, that I should be making community with all of my relatives to let them know how important it is that we stand up for Line 3, especially in this moment because they're up north right now, even though they don't have any permission to, that they're digging up and desecrating sacred land of the Anishinaabe and Dakota people, the original people of this land. You guys should know and understand your power in today and going forward that I really hope that you go and join the water protectors along with all of us up north if you're able to, if you're able to give your funds to those who are fighting, give your power, your prayers, and all of your energy to them because we are fighting for our futures. We are fighting for our water. And if you look behind me right here, this is what we're fighting for, the Mississippi River. All of the waterways that connect to this wonderful and amazing spirit. I hope you take the chance today to make relations with all of those here and to really lay your prayers down and let this land know that you love it, that you care for it, and that you are going to do everything in your power to stop line three. And to Governor Walz and to President Joe Biden, I am standing up in front of you, this crowd of people today to let you know as a young 21-year-old Northern Cheyenne and Oglala Lakota woman that I will lay my life down to make sure that the Line 3 pipeline is not built in Northern Minnesota, that there are no more pipelines built anywhere on stolen land. I thank you all for coming out. I thank you for listening to me. And I pray and hope that you guys have a wonderful evening and never give up hope because the young people are standing strong. Thank you. Won't be left.